Hey guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. For today's video I'm going to be filming a simple everyday makeup look which is this one right here. Um, I really really like this look for every day. It's something casual, something not too dramatic. You can wear it anywhere you go to school, to work, literally anywhere. Um, so yeah, if you want to see how to get this look right here then just keep on watching. Alright, so to prime my face today, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Hangover Primer. This is infused with coconut water, so if you have dry skin, this is going to be really, really good for you because it really just nourishes your skin and gives it a good base for your foundation. I also already applied my brow pomade and did my brows um, just because they take a really really long time and I just didn't really feel like doing them for this video okay for foundation today I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow in the shade 203 nude beige Looks like this and I'm just gonna be taking a little bit on my finger and just dotting it all over my face once again this is also good if you have really really dry skin um, it makes it gives your skin like a really really nice natural glow does it make you look greasy does it make you look cakey it just makes your skin look like your skin and I'm sorry if I keep looking over here um, it's my viewfinder and just want to make sure everything looks good after I have put the foundation on my face I'm going to take it just a damp beauty blender and blend this all out And this shade might be a little dark for me. Um, I'm not really sure. I think it looks okay, but it might be dark. It might it might be too dark. My forehead has been really really red lately, so I'm going to try to really get a lot of coverage up there. I might have to apply another layer just so that way I can get that really really full coverage because I don't want any redness or anything peeking through blend that into your hairline down your neck on your ears so there's no weird lines or anything I'm going to have to apply a little bit more of my foundation on my forehead because I'm really really red Okay, well, since I can't find my Tarte Concealer, I'm going to be going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Fair Claire. I am, like, have none left of this. Like, look at that. Nothing. But, try to make it work. Just go under my eyes. Down the sides of my nose. And up by my temple. I'm going to highlight down the bridge of my nose, on my chin, cupid's bow, and the center of my forehead. I have no clue how I even got that much out, but come through Maybelline. And I'm just going to blend that out again using a damp beauty blender. Okay, so once my concealer is blended out, I'm going to set my under eye using the RCMA No Color using the RCMA No Color Powder in an Elf Blush Brush just to set my under eye so that way I don't crease throughout the day. I'm not gonna bake today just because I'm not really I'm not really feeling it. This RCMA powder is really really good for setting your under eyes, baking, setting your face because it does not flashback on cameras you don't see that really weird white cast that you will see in some other translucent powders so I really really like this and would recommend that if you're into the you know whole baking technique just gonna finish setting my under eyes and then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the LA girl pro conceal HD concealer in the shade medium bisque and I'm just gonna use a little bit of this 
to kind of cream contour um, my cheekbones just a little bit. Alright, so after I have applied that to my cheekbones, my forehead, and actually I think I'm going to do a little bit down the side of my nose, just to do a little bit of like a nose contour. Okay, so after that is done, I am going to blend it out again with a beauty blender. You do not have to cream contour your face. You can skip this step. It is not necessary. You do not have to cream contour. You don't have to contour at all. I just like the way it makes my face look, so that is why I'm choosing to cream contour. Just dragging that up to my temple and really, really just trying to blend it out and make it look really natural. Okay, so after I have blended out my cream contour, I am going to set my entire face with the RCMA No Color Powder just to make sure that everything is mattified and set so that way I can go in with my powder bronzer and my highlight and all my other powders. And once again for that, I'm just using the e.l.f. blush brush. Alright, so once I'm done with that, I'm going to be taking this... I don't really know. Russia says I got these off of Amazon. It came in a set, but it's just a kind of dense face brush. I usually face face brush. I use it to set my bronzer or not my bronzer. To add a little bit more color to my cheeks, I'm going to be taking this middle shade in the Kat Von D shade and light palette with this Coastal. I think it might be Coastal Scents brush. I'm not really sure. I got these off Amazon a really long time ago. Okay, and I'm just going to be applying this anywhere that I applied the cream contour. Okay, so now that I just did that and I already have my brows done, I am going to go in with this Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in the shade Rose Champagne. It looks like this. These blushes are so good and so pigmented, especially this one I really, really love because it really just gives your cheeks that kind of flushed, rosy, um, glowy look. I'm going to be applying this to the apples of my cheeks. After I'm done with my blush, I'm going to go in with a little bit of highlight. And since today I don't really want my highlight to be too intense, I'm just going to be using the Sephora Radiant Luminizing Drops in the shade Ultra Light. So I'm just going to apply this on the top of my cheekbones really, really lightly. I'm going to be blending it out so it gives you a nice little glow, but nothing too intense. So yeah, it just gives you a really, really nice radiant like glow from within type of look. So after I do my highlight and I have that done and over with, I'm going to start on the eyes. And for this look, it's going to be extremely, extremely simple, an everyday look. I'm going to be taking some of the more neutral shades in this palette and just going in and creating a super, super simple eye look. Okay, so I'm going to be going in with a Wet n Wild um, eyeshadow brush and I'm going to be using the shade Tempera, which is this just kind of pinky nude shade and I'm just going to be applying that all over the lid. Alright so after I set my eyes with tempera I'm going to go in with golden ochre which is this kind of really really light I want to say like a really really light army green is just what I think of when I see it um, but it's just a really neutral shade I'm just going to apply that into my crease with this brush once again. It's really dense but not too too dense. I really really like these new Wet n Wild brushes. Alright so after I took Golden Ochre into my crease I am going to take a different brush. Wet n Wild. Large crease. The Wet n Wild Large Crease brush and I'm going to be dipping into the shade Rossi and I'm going to be taking that in the crease as well. And I am just applying this in windshield wiper motions. I don't want anything too harsh, too intense. I just want something really, really simple. And I'm trying to define my crease just a little bit. Like I said, nothing too, too harsh. 
Alright, so after I apply raw sienna into my crease, I'm going to go in with warm taupe also in my crease just to make it a little bit deeper. And I'm really just focusing this. I'm not going all the way in, just kind of on the outer. Alright, so I'm going to be taking just a little, little bit of Primavera, which is this shimmery shade right here. And I'm just going to be tapping this on the center of the eyelid. Alright, so now that I have that done, I'm just going to be taking a Morphe M560 brush and a little bit of warm taupe. And just brushing that on my lower lash line. Alright, so now that I have kind of very, very lightly smoked out my lower lash line, I am going to be taking my fingertip and going in with Vermeer and Primavera, these two shimmery shades, on my finger. And I'm going to be applying this down the ridge of my nose. These two eyeshadows give the most beautiful highlight, I think, for down the bridge of your nose and on your cupid's bow. It really, really stands out, and I just love the color when you mix these two eyeshadows together. So pretty. Alright, so now that I've highlighted the nose and the cupid's bow, I am going to be taking my finger once again and just kind of highlighting my inner corners really fast. So for my mascara today, I'm going to be using the Benefit Roller Lash. This is a Sephora perk size. It's really, really small. But I'm just going to be using this on the top and bottom lashes. If you want, you can just stop here with the mascara, but I'm going to apply some false lashes. Alright, so I just applied some false lashes. I applied the Velour Mama Knows Best Lashes. These are just some, I wouldn't say natural, but not as dramatic lashes as you could go. Like I said, you can just apply the mascara or do the false lashes. I personally love the false lashes. Alright, so for the lips today, I'm going to be taking the Buxom Full On Lip Cream in the shade Dolly. This is just a really pretty mauve pink color. It looks really, really natural on the lips. And I'm just going to be applying this. Alright you guys, that completes this simple everyday makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up before you leave and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can be notified every time I upload a video.